Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here with a special weekly e-tip on drivers. How to hit my driver. All right, I'm just gonna erase all other swing thoughts for you by the simple answer of how do, you, do I hit my driver. You hit your driver exactly like you hit all your other clubs. Think of your golf bag like a toolbox. And in this toolbox, you have a bunch of wrenches and they each have a different size. Your golf bag is full of clubs, much like a toolbox. Each club has a different size. Nine irons shorter than an eight iron. Eight irons uh, longer than a nine iron. The driver is the longest club in the bag. The driver is longer than your nine iron. Each, each little wrench in your box is designed to do a different job. And the job for you in your golf bag, each club is designed to go further. So with that in mind, you hit the driver the same way you hit a nine iron. It's the same swing. We've got a different tool in the box. Okay, now we've got that clarified. Here is some great driver setup tips for you to be foolproof with your driver. And it's going to be the same setup as you use your nine iron. But I want to point out one little thing. How high do I tee it? You need to tee up the ball. You need to tee up the ball so that half of the ball is above the club head. This optimizes launch and also prevents the ball from spinning, like ballooning up on you. You, you want to maximize how far you hit it and get some roll. So we're teeing up half a ball above the club head because as you're coming into impact, it's going to hit the center of the ball on the screws and it's going to be beautiful. Uh, you don't want to tee it too low unless you're trying to hit into the wind or something like that because the sweet spot of the driver is actually a little higher than you think. It's really right in here. It's not down here. You hit it down here, you'll feel it. It's like a clinky, low, weird sound and the ball doesn't go nearly as far. But if you, if you hit it too high, you also get that weird feeling like you topped it, or I mean you skied it. So the sweet spot's really right here, and we want the ball hitting here. So when we tee up half ball above, as you're coming into the golf ball, you're hitting slightly down on the ball. We're not trying to hit up with the driver, hitting slightly down on it, which means, and especially look at the tour average, it's like they hit, they hit one degree down on the ball, so hitting slightly down into the drive. Same thing here. So now I've got a teed up half ball above my club. I get into my same setup. Ball position is the same as with all my other clubs. It is about a couple inches inside my left heel. Right there. You want to have the same point of contact. The swing is the same. It doesn't get longer or shorter. My weight's still forward. I'm going to hit the same. I'm still hitting down into the golf ball, which helps me hit on the center of the club face, just like I would hit with every other club. And let's just pull the trigger here. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. So, what we need to know with the driver, three simple things. One, same swing with every club in the bag. Two, tee up the driver, half a ball above the club head. Three, we still hit down with the driver. We still have the same swing. Do not try and hit up with the driver. Unless you're on the long drive tour, do not try to hit up with the driver. Um, and even on a long drive tour, I still think they're hitting down because if you start hitting up, here's what happens. As I swing up, a couple things happen through impact. And this is just a side note. As you start hitting up, the club face begins to point more to the left. And what happens is you'll hit these high left, sometimes hooks or slices. Um, because depending on your path, like if I'm coming in here and I'm hitting up, as I swing up, the club face begins to angle more to, the le to my left here. See that? As I go up, club face angles to the left. So be careful. If you try and swing up, you think you're doing yourself a favor by trying to hit it higher. It's not going to go higher. Uh, you might you might hit duck hook left. It might sky. You just don't know because you've changed this big impact variable here. As I swing left, or as I swing up, the club face angles left. So you hit just high and left, low and left, left and left. 
We don't want to do that. So just keep that in mind, golfers and golfettes. Three simple keys for hitting the driver. Have a rockin' week. Blast the ball down the fairway, and I'll see you in a future episode. Thanks for watching.